Hi Glamettes, welcome back to Glam Queen of DIY and if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Now today's video is going to be about 15 hand painted vases. That sounds interesting to you. Make sure you stay tuned. Please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications. Alright, let's get started. Now you guys, here are my beginning pieces. As you can see, these three vases, we have a total of three different styles, but it's about 12 vases total. Then we have the plaque, and it's another piece of wood that the plaque sit on and a larger vase. Now I'm going to let you see how I'm going to hand paint these pieces. And you guys, I'm hand painting these pieces because in the event that my client wants to take those vases back to the original pieces or the original look, she can. So keep that in mind. If you're changing pieces, spray paint is permanent. But if you use acrylic paint, you guys, you can change a piece now, but you can take it back to its original look later. Now here I'm just taking my, and I'm just using varnish, you guys, on this piece here. And I just got a toothbrush and I'm brushing it on. And if you ain't never worked with varnish, you guys, you rub varnish on and you wait about 30 seconds or so, then you rub it off. And we're going to just do this until we finish this look. And two, if you're watching and you haven't become a part of this family, do make sure you do become a part of the Glam Queen of DIY family. Hit that subscribe button, tap the bell twice, it turns blue, then you know every time that I am uploading. Also, please make sure you do follow Glam Queen of DIY on Instagram and TikTok as well. All of my social media platforms are down in the description, along with my discount code. You guys, I always keep useful information in that description box for you guys. Now, I'm still just adding a different color of stain on the base of this plaque. So, I just want you guys to follow me along. And again, all of these pieces is going to be handcrafted. No spray paint, no none of that. We're going to put in some tedious work, you guys, to get these pieces done. And I will let you know, you guys, this was a very, very tedious job to do all the pieces, you guys. It took me about five days total because I was letting them dry in between. And I mean, paint some, let some dry and continue to work. So just follow me along as we complete these handcrafted, hand painted.
Alright everyone, these are our finished pieces. I'm telling you, they are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'll hand paint it. And as you can see, they're copper, bronze, more of a metal. They have sort of a wood grain finish. Trying to get all of the pieces. I still got real life going on in the background, everyone. And I'm showing you real quick. My client is on her way to get them. And this was a tedious job. I'm going to do another one of these, you guys, since I did lose some of the footage. But what I did was, after you saw me going and paint, I went back after I added in the copper. And I just brushed in more of that true burgundy, then I sealed them. And I did fill them, you guys, with Mod Podge. And I actually sealed them three times and they've been sitting. But these, here they are. And you're going to see me do a video of her space in a, probably about two more weeks. But she's picking these up. And just make sure you stay tuned for the space. Well, you're going to be seeing these pieces along with a couple more. Let me let you see that large face and other pieces for you. Alright, you guys. My lighting in here sucks. <laughs> it's storming out. So, you're not getting a true picture. So, I'm going to let you see. That's what that looks like. And remember, guys, all of that was this color here. But we stained it. And as well as that large vase. And it was actually black and silver, you guys. But there you have it. Make sure you stay tuned so you can see these pieces styled. And it's going to be about two more weeks, you guys. 